Good morning, Panthers. I'm Isaac Dudley. And I'm Ian Parra. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First up, we have some announcements. If you're interested in joining yearbook next year, please see Ms. Chelson. Applications are available now and are due on March 12th. You need a cover letter, teacher recommendation, and commitment on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 4 p.m. Spaces are limited, so good luck. Don't forget to join the LMC Chess Google Classroom to have access to the announcements and polls. The code is BPMAN8. Fandom members, the anime convention is coming up on March 17th, so make sure to see Ms. Pazel for a permission slip. You still have time to apply for leadership next year. Please make sure you fit all the requirements and get your application in by March 2nd. It is very competitive, so good luck and do your best. Remember, you have to be a member of leadership to sign up for ASB elections. If you're interested, ASB campaigning begins March 5th, so make sure to turn in your, your leadership application on time. This Wednesday, the West Hills College Financial Aid staff will be on campus to help seniors with their FAFSA. If this applies to you, meet in Coach Mac's room starting at 8.30 a.m. Please check in with your teachers before. Want to be part of Lemoore's Relay for Life on April 28th and 29th? Be sure to sign up in the office by March 12th. You will receive further information after signing up. Mark your calendars for the LUHSD Spring Fever Brunch and Auction. It will take place on Saturday, April 7th at 10 a.m. Admission is $25 and raffle tickets are $1 each. You can purchase them at the LUHSD District Office. Invite your friends and parents and support the LUHSD clubs. See Ms. Pathel with questions. And now we send you to leadership with information about the next rally. Hey there LMCHS, it's Cody Wild and Kate Matthews and we're here to update you on the Spring Rally. This year we're going to bring back the beloved Mr. LMCHS pageant. In this pageant we're going to take two lucky young men from each class who are not only going to compete for your love but also the love of our judges. But there can only be one winner and all of you get to watch that happen. So now let's meet the contestants. Our first contestant is Clayton Mahogany. He's a first year Panther and a student of our AVID class. Look at those locks. Coming up next, we have our man Dante, Dante, Dante. He's also a first year student here at LMCHS and an avid Patriots fan. Our next contestant is Jacob Vigler. He is an avid participant in all of this school's sporting events. Right after him, we have Bo and Sam, the twins. You know them, this school's hype men. But the only twist is they're gonna be competing as one contestant for you and our judges love. Next we have Isaac Dudley. You see him on your morning announcements as a co-anchor and he's also a part of the Cyber Patriots Club. We know that we can go to him if we need any tech advice. And then we have Ben Guerrero. Representing the junior class, he is very avid in the academic program and he is full of that energy. For one of our senior contestants, we have John Henry Walker the, the third. third. You know him, he's your school treasurer, and he's the Swiss Army knife of musical instruments. And then finally, for our last senior contestant, we have Ian Para. You see him on your morning announcements, and you also see him in the academic team. Be sure to mark your calendars for Wednesday, March 21st, and make sure you root for whoever you want to win. We hope to see you there. Now, back to the announcements. Welcome back. Now we send you to a special interview with Coach Mack. Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Mack! <laughs> Coach Mac. Hello. So uh, you're a man with things in your life, yeah? So go, why don't you so. go ahead and introduce yourself to us? Uh, Justin McClellan, Coach Mac, uh, Lamonville College High School. Lettuce! So anyway, um, you know. You know, you're doing normal things. You're teaching here. I think so, yeah. How's, this, how's uh, student community outreach going? Student community outreach is uh, doing outstanding. Yeah. Um, I, we're working towards uh, homeless care packages. Yeah. And uh, the big thing is just fundraising, trying oh. to get just, uh, get us uh, as much money as possible 
to start actually distributing care packages this spring. Yeah, you know. Um, but it's a significant dollar amount. I heard you guys are doing a Chipotle fundraiser? Chipotle, yeah. Yeah, um, actually, I heard something kind of interesting, and I want to get your input on it. All right. So I heard that you guys are actually going to, like, mug anyone who looks... <laughs> Sorry. Mug anyone who looks rich, you know, who that walks into Chipotle. No, no, that wouldn't be good. That's not very uh, community-oriented at all. Oh, well, you know, I thought it was very... You know, bold and exciting and bold and exciting, new and fresh. Right? Yeah, fresh. You know, yeah. I don't think I've seen that done before. Yeah, getting kids into legal problems probably wouldn't be the best idea. Yeah. So I definitely have to say that's not going to be happening. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, well, you know, that's how things go. Who is the me. best wrestler? Yeah, who is the best wrestler? Are you looking for history, the world, current? Wrong. It's Randy Savage. Randy Savage. Y yeah, oh. Randy Savage. I'm going that route, huh? Randy Savage. <laughs> just so you know, that's just really drama and acting. And is this your stagehand, or...? He's my co-host. Lover. Co Love. All right. Yes, that works, too. To each their own. Yeah. As long as you're happy, I'm happy for you. Anyway, uh, so, I got a... I saw a Facebook post you posted. Um, about, uh... It's kind of, kind of bold. Kind of, kind of challenging, you know? Uh, you said, uh, something along the lines of, you know, who even, who even, like, spells Brian with a Y, you know? It's such a... Such a weird thing to do. It's like the problem with suburban America. and That they know, would spell it with a Y. That they would spell it with a Y. And See, I, I, I don't think I posted that. I think this is fake news. Fake? I think, I, I think it's pretty right. Because my, uh, my cousin's actually spelled with a Y. Oh. P-R-Y-A-N. I just like Brian to know why you'd post something so controversial, yet so brave. Can I get this refilled? Oh, you have that kind of service? And I didn't even get anything to drink, you know, water. Can we get him something to drink? You know, a little thirsty. I guess the lettuce would have had some water, but nobody offered me any lettuce. You know, I just really fill out. <laughs> Next topic. I can tell you about my family. What's your greatest fear? Greatest fear? It was heights at one point. Mm. And then I didn't end up very tall, so it kind of worked out just fine. Yeah. Kind of got over that fear very quickly. Yeah. Especially by junior high. You play Pokemon Go? Why, yes, I do. I shouldn't. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. It's a, it's a good game. Yeah. I don't like the changes. More of my manners. Oh, I don't want to hit. Oh, wow, that's a great thing. Anyway, so, um... Sad for your desk. I de that's great. Can you feel for inanimate objects? Maybe that's controversial. Can you feel for inanimate objects? You want a snack? Oh, really? Some peanut butter? Yeah. Oh, it already looked... Can I have a spoon? It's not very hygienic to put my finger in there. All right. Thank you. It's not open. <laughs> I promise you. I like the smiley face, though. Well done. Thanks. Well... Well, you have anything else? Drop peanut butter. Mm. Mm. Lettuce and peanut butter. That's what you have. Hey man, you gotta have thing. your nutrition. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. It's all this weight training. You're so powerful, Dudley. Yep. That's usually how this works. Oh. I don't think he's attached to his desk. Is the idea controversy? <laughs> a little controversial, don't you think? Who built it? Me. Oh, good job, Alex. You could actually uh, build a little bit more firm. It doesn't seem to stand up to a, a mallet. Well, particle board is see, the toughest. I, you're going to come onto my show and tell me how to build my desks? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to break. Well, I think that's all we have time for today, folks. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We have it Coach Mac here. It was an honor. honor. <laughs>
Hey, Isaac. Yeah, Ian. So, there was a dwarf psychic that escaped from prison recently. Really now? Yeah, I guess you could call him a small medium at large. <laughs> That's it for this episode. Have a great week.